action so here we are again in a new tutorial today I'm gonna make this video just a little bit different from other tutorials I'm not gonna do the whole process of this uh, key shot scene uh, like I always do I'm just gonna show you how to import the SOLIDWORKS file from our modeling tutorial and I'm gonna show you how I did the position and some other settings and I'm also just gonna show what materials I have used and some settings and that's gonna be pretty much everything so let's go first with uh, SOLIDWORKS <coughs> here is our file and I'm gonna do a, a painting with a, just a little bit of speeding up the video and I'm just gonna like separate all things in a different color when we uh, import to a key shot so that we can have all them separated as a separate material so let's go everything and now we can just use the add-in I have the add-in for the solid works I mean the key shot <laughs> and I'm just gonna press this button and that's gonna import everything to a key shot So that's how everything is done done about the importing. Let me just see something. Okay. I guess that everything is fine. Now you can apply materials and I'm not gonna use this uh, model for anything. I'm just gonna load my uh, scene that is already done. So here is how I, <coughs> what uh, materials I have used. Here we have the paint metallic black. This one is of course white. You can see the settings here. Nothing special. You can also play and do it by yourself. Uh, for this metal, I have used. I think it's uh, aluminium aluminum or however you call it aluminum rough 070, 0, 0, 0.075 and here are these glasses it's a, a refractive white I think I have used it for each glass in a scene for this one also and for these two 
and for the back of course looks like I have forgot to edit this to black never mind let's just hide this glass to see what's underneath here I use the emissive no it's a area light diffuse material it has one uh, lumen of power I made it really like a like a really as uh, it's not really strong it's really like just uh, just a little bit visible cause it's not really easy to make it perfect with a key shot so I suggest you to make the lens or something like that from these two using Photoshop or something similar and under this glass I should have a lens but looks like something is wrong so yes here on camera I should have a lens I don't know what's wrong never mind and from this side I have something something is messed up with this one as you may see this shouldn't be white it should be black let's uh, try make it black I hope it's not linked to something and it is let's uh, let's unlink no let's unlink the back okay now edit this one and get back to white no it's it's not working never mind about that also the thing about the monitor here is that this glass that we did is gonna be uh, hidden and then you apply this uh, how it's called the label you apply it to this black material uh, I got some settings here and you may want to see them and yeah I'm gonna leave this image of the of the Nexus background on my Facebook page and the link is gonna be down below so that you, you can use it and what's next uh, when you look at from the front you are able to see that this left one is having like a gradient or left I mean white gradient over it so I did it by adding just a one plane in a scene and here is the plane uh, where, where here is his position it's almost parallel to this foam and it's moved to the left so you can play it with you can play also with this plane the material was I think emissive cool intensity free not really important you can uh, make something by yourself and yeah after you do one phone imagine that uh, that this one is fine and it's done you just duplicate it and move it and place it here you can then uh, do some editing if you want if not never mind what's left to say the shadows are not so interesting environment seems to be strange uh, I suggest you to make your own own HDRI uh, lighting for this uh, scene and also we should have a ground plane instead of the shadows and then you just apply some material to it and it's kinda more interesting I will use white and yeah you can play with these uh, settings to see how it's gonna edit the reflection of the of the reflection I mean the <laughs> reflection of the models down on the floor 
and then you are not also able um, to have the transparent background here in the back but you can uh, do it in a Photoshop by cutting some things out or we can just push it on a 1 and here on 0 so that should work now the reflection is looking quite decent I think that would be everything for today let me just see have I forgot something to say I don't think so yeah we're done thanks for watching if you have watched it bye